In this video, we'll be talking about the line as a locus of points. A line is the locus of all points that are equidistant from two given points. The problem that we'll be working is to find the equation of the line that's equidistant from the points 4, 2 and negative 2, negative 3. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. Now I've sketched a graph of our two points. 4, 2 is here and negative 2, negative 3 is here. And so the line that's equidistant from those two points would be this line that lies uh, pretty much right here. This is just a sketch, so um, it's not real accurate. But when we say equidistant, we're talking about any point on this line. For example, if I pick this point right here, this distance to negative 2, negative 3 will be equal to this distance from this point to 4, 2. So I've picked an arbitrary point uh, right here, and I've called it x, y, because we really don't know anything about the line yet, except that it's equidistance between those two points. And so we'll just call that point x, y. But we do know now that the distance from this point to the point 4, 2 is equal to the distance from this point to the point negative 2, negative 3. That's true about any point on the line. So we need to use the distance formula. Remember uh, the distance formula. Distance from some point x1, y1 to a point x2, y2 is given by the formula distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. So what we'll want to do then is just state that the distance here is equal to the distance here. Our two distances then, let's do this distance first. We want the square root of this x-coordinate, subtract this x-coordinate, so x minus 4, and then quantity squared, plus, and then this y-coordinate, subtract this y-coordinate, so y subtract 2 quantity squared. So this expression represents the distance from our point on our line to the point 4, 2. Now that distance is equal to the distance from a point on our line to the other point. So we'll take x subtract negative 2 quantity squared plus y subtract negative 3 quantity squared. Now the first thing I would do is get rid of these radicals and I can do that by squaring both sides. So this square takes off this square root, and this square takes off this square root. So I have x minus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared equals, and then on the other side, um, let's make this minus minus into a plus. So there's x plus 2 quantity squared plus, and then here's another minus minus. That's y plus 3 quantity squared. Now do not make the mistake of thinking that this radical removes these squares. It does not, and it never will. So please don't do that. 
um, because these squares are added together, we don't have a rule um, that allows us to do that. It's only when they're multiplied that we can um, apply the square root to a square like that. So we have to actually square both sides to get rid of those radicals. All right, the next thing that we're going to need to do is use FOIL to multiply each of these binomials out. Um, this first one will be x squared minus 8x plus 16. This next one will be y squared minus 4y plus 4. The first one on the right side here will be x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then this last one squares out to be y squared plus 6y plus 9. All right, now we'll notice that we have an x squared on both sides and a y squared on both sides. So we can subtract x squared from both sides and those will cancel. And we'll subtract y squared from both sides and those will cancel. All right, then also let me go ahead and combine these constants that are on the left. So we have a negative 8x minus 4y, and then 16 plus 4 is 20. On the right side, we have 4x plus 6y. And our constants on the right side uh, combine to 13. Now our directions told us to write the equation in slope-intercept form. So we want to get the y by itself. Um, let's subtract 6y from the right side. And that'll cancel off and put our y's over on the left side. And then... Um, Let's go ahead and add 8x, take it off of this side, add 8x here, and that'll cancel. And then subtract 20, and the 20s that cancel there. So I have a negative 10y is equal to 12x minus 7. For slope-intercept form, we need y by itself, so let's divide every term by a negative 10. So cancel, and we end up with y equals a negative 6 fifths x plus 7 tenths.